Lego makes Minecraft sets, but for all the similarities Lego and Minecraft have, these sets honestly are pretty inaccurate. So in this video, I'm going to fix Lego Minecraft sets so they are actually accurate to the game. This video is sponsored by World of Warships, but more on them later. Here's the game plan. Step 1, buy the sets. Uh, yeah, I kind of need the sets in order to fix them. Step 2, build the sets. And step 3, fix them to show Lego that I am a way better designer. Just kidding, I love you Lego. Alrighty, Lego sets acquired. Now I need to build them, starting with the Creeper Ambush, a small set with a simple play feature and- What is that? A red and yellow creeper. Can someone explain to me how that makes any sense? Okay, okay. Maybe it's supposed to be mid-explosion. No, creepers turn white when they explode. Anyways, the main thing to fix in this set, besides whatever this abomination is, is to make everything actually a block tall. As you all probably know by now, to make a LEGO cube, you can stack five 2x2 two two plates, but instead of following the game, LEGO decided to give it like five different levels of sand. Okay, time to get to fixing. I started by laying a layer of dirt, sand, and water to outline where everything is going to go. Then I can use these transparent blue bricks to make some much better looking water, and then use a combination of studs and plates in tan to make sand with a nice texture. Then I added these translucent blue tiles on the top of the water to finish it off, and man, it is certainly an upgrade from a blue plate. Then I built up more sand and moved onto the dirt. By using a brown brick with two layers of green plates on top, it makes a realistic dirt block. So I made two layers of dirt and then added a little crop to one side. Okay guys, if this egg spawns a chicken, you have to subscribe. You know what to do. I finished off the build with a crafting table, some stone, and a piece of coal. And then to replicate the piece of sugar cane going on the beach, I made this weird stock thing with minifigure hands and a bar piece. And no, I did not include the random piece of iron that would definitely not generate there in the actual game. And with that done, our first inaccurate LEGO Minecraft set is fixed. But before we move on to fixing the next set, let's talk about this video's sponsor, World of Warships. Ah ah ah, don't click off, because World of Warships is a free-to-play PC game that you can play by yourself or recruit in your friends to help you fight. There are over 40 different maps that all have realistic weather, not to mention insane water graphics that literally look like real life. World of Warships has four different classes of ships, including cruisers, destroyers, battleships, and aircraft carriers. But if you really want to dive right into the game, you can, because there's even submarines. And all of World of Warcraft ships are extremely accurate recreations of real-life vessels. The game is literally a museum of ships from both World Wars, as well as super cool ships that never actually were built in real life. And if that's not enough, there is new content released every single month. And the game is also available on consoles. So make sure you click the first link in the description and use code FIRE during registration to get 200 doubloons, a premium battleship USS Texas, 20 restless fire camouflage, 1 million credits, and 7 days of a premium account, all for free. And thanks again to World of Warships for sponsoring this video. Okay, moving on to the Mushroom House set. First I built it. Alex acquired. Okay, apart from things not being a block tall, there's only one major problem with this set. Can you spot it? Well, if you guess the mushroom cow, then you're right. Mushroom cows only spawn in the mushroom biome, not in mushroom forests. So let's fix it. There isn't any Lego color that fits the dirt color in this biome, so I'm just gonna go with what Lego did and use dark bluish gray. I started by laying out a layer of brown plates, but quickly realized that if I want each block to be five plates tall, and there has to be two layers of dark gray, there can only be three plates that are brown, which is one brick tall. So instead of plates on the bottom, I used bricks to make the outline. Then I put down a layer of gray plates and raised up the height of the island to two blocks in some places. I also put some jumper plates down instead of two by two tiles so that I could put these small mushrooms that spawn in this biome. Then I built up one of these flat mushrooms and used white and tan pieces to make the stock a little more interesting than just using white. And with that done, I can move on to making the mushroom house. I started by building a 3x3 block of mushroom for the top, and to add the more Minecraft look, I used these 1x1 studs instead of plates. Then I moved on to the sides. I used these 2x4 bricks to make a lip for the sides to be built on, and then I got distracted and added a quick ladder to the stock of the mushroom. By staggering these plates in this brown color with more plates in white, it makes it look like a ladder, which is much more accurate than this huge thing. Then I decided to build the interior because it'll be much easier now than with the mushroom walls in place. I used the backs of masonry bricks in tan to make accurate birch planks, and then added a Minecraft bed, which, unlike LEGO's design, is actually the right length. 
a furnace, crafting table, and a torch to light it up. Then I started on the sides of the mushrooms. It took so long because every time I added a white stud, I had to use a bunch of small red plates to fill in the spaces, and it was so boring. So while I finish that up, I'll say thank you so much for 100k. Look what's on my pin board. Let's see how long until I have to take this diagram down to make room for something else. Okay, now that the walls of the mushrooms are finally finished, the mushroom house is completed, and we can place our mushroom cow in its newly fixed home. Okay, that's two sets done, but we still have two left, and they are way bigger. Let's start with this thing. It's supposed to be some sort of sky base, but there are so many things wrong with it. This door is literally 2x3 instead of Minecraft's 1x2. Nothing is actually a block tall, and how on earth are we supposed to build this roof in the game? I have a lot of fixing to do. Let's start with the base and work up, because I don't really know how I'm going to manage to build something like this that looks good and is also accurate to the game. I started by smooshing these two 16x16 blades together, and then adding a layer of brown bricks on the outside to make it look like dirt blocks. Then I added another small layer to make it look like it's tapering off at the bottom. I finished it off with some stone spikes, and man, it's looking a lot better than this. I also made a smaller little island as the farm in the set, and a small composter I built, which looks just a little more like the game than Lego's design. And now I have to build a tower. Hmm. You know what the real problem here is? Okay, now that those horrible creatures are gone, we can move on to the last set, the modern treehouse. Once I finish building this fixed version, I'm actually going to try and build it in the game. Okay, let's get started. I would list all the problems with this set, but I don't want the video to be an hour long. I definitely don't have enough pieces to build a whole new one like I did the other three sets, so I'm going to use the original frame of the trees to build my new one. I started by taking off all the grass parts so that I was just left with the technic parts of the tree. Then I built out the frame a little and added base plates to the underside so that it will be a full block tall. The problem is that if I use these green base plates, if it shows on the edges it won't work, because the bottom layer is supposed to be brown. But if I add a layer of two wide brown plates around the edge, then it actually works out pretty well. I then added this crop using some dark tan jumper plates, a patch of podzol to have a small bamboo farm like the original set did. Then I added a little beach area with some sand and water, which I took away from the other sets because I have like five water blocks in total. Then to finish off the base layer, I also made a small lava pool because it just looks cool. Then I started on the house. I wanted to keep the same color scheme so it all looks like the original set, but I really don't like the weird stack design because half of the sides look bad when it's built like that. So instead, I went for one big room on the bottom level. They can be accessed by these ladders. The white block is a representation of smooth quartz, and the burnt orange I decided is supposed to be orange terracotta. I built up the house and added the things inside like this staircase, an actually accurate Minecraft bed, a double chest I built using a jumper plate in the small bracket, some furnaces, and a crafting table. I also added in the official Lego design for bookshelves because unlike the rest of the sets, they are actually a full block tall and look pretty accurate as they are. I also added these glass windows on jumper plates to center them on the block so they are actually like Minecraft glass panes. And with that done, I added a small door and then made some sort of modern archway to make it less boring than just a white box. I used tan pieces to make it look like strip birch, and once that was finished, I added the roof, some fencing, and then a giant platform on top made of orange terracotta to act as some sort of storage room. I also built up this small staircase to get from the bottom floor to the top. Okay, it's leaf time. I don't like leaf time. Here we go. Since I was going all out on this build and taking literally everything apart to make sure I had the right pieces, I just used the already existing leaves that came with the set as a base. Now I'm not gonna lie, I actually built the leaves before I built the house, and I was originally gonna build both the big chunk and the smaller chunk, but after just doing the small one, I realized I was not gonna have even close to enough pieces. I built the leaves by using a bunch of small green plates mixed in with these bright green flower pieces and 1x2 rounded plates to give it texture. I also stole some of these vines from the sky base set to add to the edge of the trees, and finally it was complete. This is my first non-mechanical build since I've actually had an audience, so if you do enjoy this and want to see me do more builds like this, maybe even remake the summer wave of Minecraft sets, comment below. But don't worry, if you didn't like this, I have another mechanical build coming next. Anyways, now it's time to build the fixed modern treehouse set in the actual game. I loaded up a super flat world and got to work. There were literally no problems with building this and everything worked out perfectly. I just fixed four LEGO sets so they are actually accurate to the game and they actually turned out pretty cool. Also, please consider subscribing to help me reach my lofty goal of 500k by the end of summer.